Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hola, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. In today's video, we, we are going to be discussing ways that you can shop consciously in a world full of fast fashion. So I think we've all been introduced to that word of fast fashion in the recent years. Me, myself, I didn't know that those kind of stores are like the mall stores like Forever 21 those stores had a name. And I think um, now with the new stores like Fashion Nova and Shein and all those like online stores have come into play, I think that they really created this word just for them. But I personally think that fast fashion has been around for years, decades, because this is the thing with fashion. Fashion is always changing. So besides being something being trendy at the moment, like trend means like just at that moment, I feel like fashion has to con has to change constantly because that's the way it's built. There's a seasons for fashion and so even the high-end designers always come up with new designs during the fashion seasons so that would only make sense that every other store has the same thing and obviously with the seasons themselves like summer and winter you have to change the fashion to that as well so it is not an uncommon thing that fashion is always changing and there's always different trends and different kinds of clothes that we're going to wear and that we're going to keep on changing throughout the years. So it makes it extremely hard to be sort of more conscious and eco-friendly when it comes to clothes. There is a lot of information out there about how fast fashion is detrimental to the earth and just because so much stuff is being made so quickly, not only to the earth, but most of these fast fashion places like Shein and Fashion Nova, they don't have good labor law practices. And not only here, because I don't even think they make their clothes here, everything, wherever there is um, that they export them from, they don't pay their workers well. I'm sure there's child labor and all of that stuff. There's been so many articles about all those companies. So that's kind of like I get it because there is a lot of influencers that push that and it it's kind of like mm, like you see it right and you like it it's so cute the dress whatever it is that they're that they're selling or that you obviously they wear and you everybody asks where'd you get it from and if they got it from Shein then everybody's gonna get it from there and it's obviously just at the time it's a moment piece so I think when it comes to building a wardrobe and shopping consciously is to think about more like in the future and if this item is going to last me a while of course trends are going to come and go like right now i'm wearing something that's very trendy which is a two-piece set it's like a little crop top and like a skirt like this these sets have been very popular for maybe the past two years during summertime and even during winter time you dress them up with layers so they've been very popular and i do still buy like some trendy pieces i just don't don't buy so many and i don't get into the habit of like always clicking on that link if i see it it's like do i really like this do i really want it right and i know that those places get you with the prices like let's say a dress would be like ten dollars which you won't find a really good dress cute dress for ten dollars like maybe in another store like macy's or Abercrombie or Zara even so I know that the prices and it, for a lot of us like that's a thing that keeps us kind of in the role of fast fashion the prices of clothes because obviously we wear clothes every single day of our lives so it's something that we would like to keep um changing and wearing different outfits and of course still um, stay with the times but the prices always get us right like we can't really afford very expensive um, brands so we tend to look for the cheaper for the knockoffs for the dupes whatever it is that we want to call them me personally I just shop at the clearance section right so that's it's kind of like that it's hard to stay less the shopping and less like fast fashion but it is doable. I've been doing it all my life. So I'm here to tell you guys 
how like kind of like my tricks that I do so really quick before we get started because I wanted to show you like kind of like the capsule wardrobe that I have already um, that I bought during the years at fast fashion places because I think at this point every single store is fast fashion like every single store because again seasons change they're always going to be in new styles every season and we're always going to be moving with also with the seasons outside so no matter what I think wherever it is that you're shopping is going to be fast fashion however I think there's some that are just way more and just throwing out so much low quality, like very bad material clothes, but obviously like the $5 gets us, right? Um, but I think that is doable and you can, just with the few pieces that you have, you can make many outfits out of them. So let's just get started. Very simple. We'll just go like a really quick history of my love for fashion. Um, I've always loved clothes and dressing up, always, always since I can remember. I think my mom was the first one who introduced me to fashion. My mom always liked us to be very well dressed when we were little. And when we used to live in San Jose, she used to take us to the store called Factory to You. When I came to LA, they had those stores too, but they weren't the same. But over there, she would buy us the same matching outfits because she had three daughters, right? So we all wore the same outfit. We were all so cute. But my mom kind of introduced us to like being well-dressed, well put together and in very cute clothes. So that always stuck to me. However, from elementary to middle school, I've always wore uniform at school. So I didn't have like the access to like really wear my clothes only on the weekends so I came out on the weekends but then when I got to high school I was able to wear whatever I wanted so that's really when um I started just thinking about fashion more and I used to also watch what not to wear I don't know if you guys ever saw that on TLC I think oh my gosh I love 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 that show and whenever people would come because you know if you never watched that show it's kind of an old show I don't think it's around anymore but most of the time you nominate somebody, like let's say I nominated my sister and I'd be like, oh, my sister's so beautiful. She's so this and that, but she dresses like a bump, right? Like you would say that. And then the lady, I forget her name, she would come in and then she, her thing was always like, the way you dress is the way people see you and perceive you. Like, what is it that you want to show them? And a lot of people that were not into into fashion into dressing up their thing would always be like why do i have to dress a certain way for people to take me seriously or for them to see me a certain way like my attitude would do that you know my the way i i talk to them and she would always say that is very true the fact that you have to you know wear this or that or dress a certain way has nothing to do with your personality and the person that you are on the inside however clothes gives us that um access to already make an impression without even having to talk to people kind of put ourselves out there and the way we look brushing our teeth brushing our hair and wearing a nice outfit is telling somebody is telling the whole world that we made an effort that day and that we care about our appearance and then some people be like oh, why do we have to care about our appearance you know like the whole thing and honestly i get it there's good points on both sides but i think at the end of the day it's true like when you're sad you're like in you kind of don't care about your appearance you don't care about your clothes right you just go out but that's even if you're not doing it consciously, subconsciously, you're already saying something about yourself. So I personally also think that clothes is super important and you don't need to have brand names and you don't need to have anything super expensive or anything super trendy. You don't need to be with the times. As long as you're well put together like and you feel comfortable, that is enough. But with that to say, it's kind of, I mean, that's like kind of how I started with the love of fashion and think it started. That's how I started thinking about how fashion is very important. And so when I got to high school and I was able to experience, I was able to wear anything I wanted. I loved it. And that's when I started experimenting with more things. And of course I went with the trends, whatever it was at the time. And afterwards you just start building your own fashion. You start building your own wardrobe and what you like. And I have gone through many different um, eras, style eras, I guess you would say, but I always come back to comfortable and very like girly, chic, simple. Like I don't, I'm not over the top or I'm not like too 
like I'm not a t-shirt and jeans and like vans girl like i can't i feel like that look just not for me but i'm also not like a super big bally dress and heels girl you know i'm kind of somewhere in between and i think over the time and over the years you find your style and uh, everybody has a a specific style to them and i mean you could look for a label for it but at the end of the day if you're comfortable and you feel good then that's all that matters so let's all just get started so most of the stuff that you see here i pulled these pieces because i feel like these pieces are what i have gotten at fast fashion stores but i've had them for years some of them are new but i know that i'm going to have them for years so you have to try to think of like quality over quantity quantity in a lot of this however of course we like to have options and i personally love to have a lot of options when it comes to my wardrobe so um when i was in my early 20s i used to shop a lot at like the swap me there was this one like um subasta store in downtown la that i would go to and obviously forever 21 but always from the clearance section so that's how i built a lot of my wardrobe then i think in my but of course like that wardrobe is very fast changing because as like i'm young and 20 i'm wearing like little crop tops little shorts like just different things that i wouldn't start wearing to like my mid-20s then in my mid-20s i started getting into old navy and um i would go into old navy and target but old navy has I never really thought of Old Navy as fast fashion until recently because I've always get my jeans from Old Navy and they last years and they're great, they're perfect. Even their shirts and their dresses, I've had a lot of things from Old Navy that have lasted me a long time. So that's why I never thought about it. But until recently when I got some shorts and I wanted to link them for you guys, I noticed that they like come and go so fast and the prices come drop like really fast. So I was like, oh, they are. I think because it's like a summer thing because their jeans always stay the same so that's kind of when I started dressing a little bit more like getting out of my young 20s um era going into like a little bit more mature uh, I started going to only me and um Target for the most part and sometimes I would go into the store into the mall but for the most part I would stick to those two stores and then now in my late 20s and now in my 30s, I feel like I finally have like a good insight on what my wardrobe is. And even though I want to be trendy and keep and keep with the trends at the time, I also want to have everlasting pieces that I'm going to use for a very long time that are both affordable. So I often just really just go into the clearance section. If I'm going with an intent to shop around i really just go into the clearance section look around see if i find something that i know that i'm going to wear not everything that's in the clearance section is like like um super trending stuff they have like some shirts they have they even have shorts some jeans in there they're just obviously the season like they might have so i tend to always look at the clearance i hardly ever shop like anything full price for old navy <laughs> target i sometimes go into forever 21 if i'm looking for something specific um sometimes i like to go to hollister they have really good jeans as well and um shirts and um h&m is one of my other big ones and again also h&m is fast fashion but i just love how they have so many they have a vast array of clothes there so all of those stores, I always, like, if I'm looking for something in particular, like, oh, I need a white dress, then I'll specifically go look for a white dress, but then I'll try to see the different prices and go with, like, the more affordable. But if, let's say, one day I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go shopping, then I just go straight to the clearance to any of these stores and get, you know, whatever, whatever is the cheapest. And if, as long as I like it. And I also try to look for deals, for coupons, whatever sales. I don't just go like that. That's also another way that you can make sure that you're not overspending, especially if you're going to be changing your wardrobe out a lot, right? But I guess that just like keeps into the, to the whole problem of fast fashion because things that end up in the clearance are basically things that like are no longer in season. But again, this is not a video about how to fully not shop fast fashion because 
I think it is very hard. It's extremely hard. And I think you need to have lots and lots and lots of money to be able to shop completely sustainably and with ethical, there, because there's a lot of companies that are super sustainable, ethically sourced, environmentally friendly, and they, and they paid their workers, every single person of their workers very fairly. But let's say a shirt will cost you $150. I wish I could be there because I would love to do that for the planet and for the people. But I am not there yet. And that's the thing. That's the reality, right? So let's try to do the best that we can. And let's not shame anybody for doing either or. So I'm just trying to tell you guys that you can find timeless pieces that will last you a very long time. Without having to shop fast fashion. Like super fast fashion like Shein or, or Fashion Nova. Or spend two hundred dollars on a pair of jeans that's simple so let's just get to it like right now for example is summer so i have all of my shorts out it's gonna be be a little biased because it's like the places that i shop the most but old navy i just love love old navy i don't see that many influencers who are um sponsored by old navy i don't know i don't know if they show up but i feel like old navy has beautiful super cute clothes all the time and again their jeans fit so well i love them so all of these jeans all of these shorts that you see right here are from old navy these are my most recent shorts that i bought them from them and they are amazing quality they're thick jean material but i'm pretty sure they're a blend of um, cotton but um you see how these are like have holes right in the wash i'm sure this this is like a trend but I love these. Like, I love them because they're slouchy. And again, slouchiness and oversize is also a trend that's been happening pretty recently. Um, I personally feel very comfortable when I'm, like, not in such tight clothes. And I think that that's going to be me going into my 30s. Like, I'm not going to be wearing so much tighter clothes, like, in every day. Like, I'm going to wear maybe a tight dress or something like that or skinny jeans when um, I go out. But my everyday, like, these slouchy shorts and a little tank top, perfect for the summer. So these might be, like, a little trend because of the holes and whatnot, but they are amazing quality, and I know they're going to last forever. Because then I have these. See, these are more, like, a vintage wash. And, see, everything in fashion comes back around. So this was maybe like a wash from like the 90s and even like the slouchy look, mm -hmm. right? And I love it. This is the the most newest one. And these are like their OG chino shorts. I don't know if only we invented the chino. I don't think so. It's like a kind of pants. But they um, brought it in shorts. And oh my gosh, you guys, these are the most comfortable shorts ever. They're so comfy and they expand because they have like this ruching so like oh i love these and again this is i'm always gonna be a brown girl and neutral so these are always gonna stay around in my wardrobe especially for the summer but again like before i used to do like three inch shorts but now i'm like oh let me do like five five inch right or three and a half like so now i look for longer shorts but this is also like something just more summery right like you don't wear this all the time these are my new ones but i wanted to show you guys that old navy is great because i've have old shorts from like i have these and you can tell look these are old because i don't even think they use the sweetheart anymore but see how old and faded and these are like a darker wash but i still wear these shorts and these are i want to say six years old these shorts are six years old and they still look great as well as as these rip ones as you can see it's kind of you can't even see that because i wore these so much when i got them like this is kind of like the this one is the new version of this one so you can see it's like these tend to be a little bit more loose um and they have holes but they're six years old and they still have holes so maybe the holes won't go anywhere but i you can see that it, um, you're gonna have these shorts for a very long time and that's great to build these kind of shorts and jean shorts are always going to be around for the summer so it's always great to have like a good three pairs that can you be that you can recycle throughout the summer i personally think that like a jean short and like a tank top it's super casual like i don't think i would wear that to like a restaurant but i would wear it 
when I go grocery shopping or running errands, just like for those instances. And I just want, I wanted to put this little skirt in there because I used to have so many skirts. I was like in my skirt era, like a couple years back. But at the end, I only ended up keeping this one, which looks so cute on. And it's another one, one of those Old Navy um, buys from like six years ago. So see, this still a staple in my wardrobe. So now moving on to jeans. I do buy a lot of my jeans from Old Navy. But another company that I absolutely love for jeans is Levi's. And I tend to buy my Levi's at Macy's whenever they have their friends and family discount, which you get them for $40 to $45. And sometimes if you get lucky, you'll find some at the clearance for $23, which I have. And you guys are not going to believe me because these are like $100 right now. These rib cage straights, I got these four years ago look four years ago i got the rib cage and these right now because i've been wanting more because these you guys these fit so well and they form you and they make your butt look so good i've seen girls with these kind of jeans that um don't typically have like a really big butt but with these jeans se les forma tan bonito and these literally go up to your rib cage like all the way over here I got these for $23 at the clearance section. I don't know if it was a mishap or something, but I love, love these jeans. And these are actual um, jean materials. So look at how good I have four. I got them before the pandemic, like four, five, four years with them. And they look great. The color is great. So I know that these right now would be 100, but if you do get them during the friends and family sale, you might get them for 65. But one jean that if you can, if you would, if you want to know which jean I would buy for the rest of my life would be the rib cage from Levi's. These, if you can have even just one of these pairs, you can't really dress it up or down with a very fancy top and some heels. You look great to go out to dinner. Or if you want to just go to the movies, you just wear a little crop top, a little cardigan and some sandals and you're good. That is the great thing about these kind of jeans. And obviously right now, the straight jean is coming back. I think I'm always going to have some kind of skinny jeans. I just was never, ever like a huge fan of the skinny jeans because I've always had bigger legs, like big fat legs. And I just never thought that they looked how they were supposed to. So I've never been like a super fan, but I always have a skinny jean. I have like two, three. And this one's a little bit more like not so skinny, but it's considered like a little um, loose skinny, I think. These are just great to have just for, I don't know, sometimes you just want to be a little bit, you don't want to be dealing with the straight kind of pants or whenever you wear boots, they look really nice. So I like to have some skinny jeans just in case, but I've been loving the straight and I've always been a straight girl always 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 even when like the skinny jean was coming up it took me a while to get to the skinny jean because i just love straight jeans and like these for example i got these at h&m but in mexico so i don't know i won't be able to link them i already try to find them because betty really loved them and i'm like oh if i find the link i'll send it to you but i can't but these kind of the and these are cotton so they're you know they're really easy to wash but i love super like comfy jeans like this that you can dress down or up because with jeans kind of tends to be tricky but it's definitely doable so you don't have to be you know saying like oh i can't wear jeans to a like a night dinner you can you just have to work around it and with jeans it's kind of like jean shorts and jeans in general if you find some actual real jean you'll have them they'll last you forever honestly like levi's last forever Ever. that's why there's still so many vintage of them because the material however now they do incorporate a lot of a cotton blend so you do get cotton like these the ones from H&M they're 100% cotton they're not jeans so you can tell because they're like looser so if you take care of them and not don't dry them too much they'll last you a long time too and obviously with jeans the style might change 
but at the end of the day it also has to do with your preference of what you like more like how i say with skinny and straight and jean shorts i don't think they're ever going to go away <laughs> i just think they're always going to stick around another staple that i think that has made more of a comeback now but has always been a part of my wardrobe has been these button-up shirts no sé cómo se llaman I don't know if there's another specific word for them. Old Navy has a ton of them and they sell, they all have a name. Like this one's called the classic shirt. Sometimes they call them the boyfriend shirts, but just um, a collar long sleeve shirt. I even wear these during the summer. I don't button, I don't button them up. And then I just have like a tank top or a crop top. And then I put this on. I also use it as a cover-up for bikinis. I also use it for when I'm wearing like um, a two-piece workout outfit. I throw this on. And these are just perfect. Or this with um, with some the ribcage jeans and like some little heels. You look really cute. Or you can even dress them down with some sandals. So I have plenty of these shirts. This one's from H&M. And I stick to like the neutral colors that are always going to be in the and that I can incorporate to every single style or outfit. Like I stick with blue. You can't go wrong with the striped blue one. Like this is iconic. This is iconic. In the 90s, these shirts were so big. And obviously white. This one's from Airy. This one works well for a cover up for a bikini and this one's very thick these shirts are always just going to be part of my wardrobe no matter what because i can take them from the summer to the winter and i can use them for three types of outfits sporty chic casual or i can dress it up with a satin top if you get a satin collar top girl you are set for day night you are set for work for um like a professional event you just get a satin shirt and either some like trousers or some really nice jeans and you are set with some heels these are also great i don't always like satin the material but this one i scored like for five dollars at h&m in the clearance section so again I found most of these shirts in the clearance section at the stores and they have become my staples for years and they're going to keep just being part of my capsule capsule wardrobe for a very long time. Now these that you see right here are other shirts but more in the trendier side because there is a ton of bodysuits. Bodysuits definitely made a comeback. I, as a kid, I used to wear bodysuits and I always thought it was just more like of a kid thing, but obviously bodysuits were big in the 80s, some into the 90s, and now they made a comeback. And honestly, I don't care how much the guys make fun of or people just make fun of bodysuits for women. I absolutely love bodysuits because they hug you, they squeeze you in and they make you look so put together if especially if you get like a really nice one this one is from zara they're good i just don't like that sometimes you get little bolitas right here but this one is good and i always love when they have full coverage i'm not a fan of the thong bodysuit mm -mm, i'm not comfortable <laughs> But look, like this one is from the Van store. Of course, the print is very Vans, but this one's cotton and it feels amazing whenever I have it on. Super comfy. I also bought this one from, this one's more, this one's the thong, but it's not too uncomfortable. But this one I got it from um, Shop Sugar Cloth or Cloth is um, this, I got it from a, from a pop-up and she has amazing um, shirt like streetwear but she brought these up for summer and they're so amazing i love this kind of material because again i'm like i don't even have to wear a bra with them so these bodysuits are just gonna honestly i think i i love them and i i want to keep incorporating them into my wardrobe because again i can take them from summer to winter so it's perfect i don't know if they're gonna slowly go away from the fashion but i'm definitely going to keep these for as long as i can i have like a little bit fancier one it's not too comfortable so i don't wear it often but this one's also very cute and i wore it for like day nine now the other things that might come and go 
our crop tops we seen them come and go and there was a time where they're saying like oh no more crop tops so it's like that's gonna be it but they keep coming back i think crop tops for the summer is, are just so simple super simple like these and this one i personally love this one i've been loving and i got this one for like five dollars at old navy and you can pair it up with one of the jean shorts and there you're you have your outfit to go run some errands, you know? So it's perfect. And you can never go wrong with a traditional, just, I don't know what these are called. They're not razor bag, but they're also not, I guess it's a tank top, but they're like a little bit thicker. This too. I wear these during the, the winter when I'm layering up because it's cold, right? So I wear these under during the summer. I wear them with the jeans and like a slick ponytail and some like lace up sandals and oh my gosh it's such a cute look it gives me like model of duty vibes whenever i do that so these shirts are going to be part of my wardrobe um for the wind mainly for the summer but i do take them into the winter to layer up when it's really cold i wear them in the bottom and then i put the other stuff on top so again they're still going to be around for a while now this section might be a little bit more for the winter however i feel like it is very important to have cardigans be not cardigans blazers be part of your life in your wardrobe in general and not just to you don't need to work at an office to wear a blazer these automatically elevate a look whenever you feel like you need something you need something new for your look girl go ahead and get a blazer you don't even have to button it all the way you can have it loose but a gray one is perfect and meshes with everything but if you can get a cream one even better i wear blazers um with sometimes even with my dresses like during the winter when it's cold but i'm wearing like a dress for thanksgiving or new year's or something like that i just end up wearing a blazer on top and it still looks i still look cute sometimes a blazer some trousers look great or a blazer and some jeans again i'm always trying to elevate the jean because the jean can be very casual really quick but you can always try to elevate it and a blazer would do that you guys won't believe this one is such an amazing quality from h&m it is so thick beautiful lo he manchado como dos veces y se le quita like it is an amazing blazer i love this blazer y no quiero que nunca nada le pase i've only had it for maybe a year i got it in the clearance section for 20 bucks Oh my gosh to this day i think about this deal <laughs> so i love this and another jean related item that you can never go wrong and that you're always going to use and keep using is the infamous jean jacket girl this is the only one that i have out right now but i have many jean jackets and a lot of them are from levi's because again nobody does jeans like levi's in my opinion but i love jean jackets they again they can put a look together when you're cold i take them since when i go to the theater or stuff like that when i know that there's going to be a little breeze i take a jean jacket during the summer and you can still wear a jean jacket during the winter so if you can find a good jean jacket you are set and that jean jacket will travel through any of the seasons for you and also you know you can how they say you need a little black dress well for me you need a little white dress and i recently also got this little white dress at old navy it is super simple straight to the point but again with some sandals you dress it down with some heels you dress it up you can wear like a blazer on top of this and it'll also elevate it even more so if you can get yourself a little white dress a black dress is also great I just don't think black looks that great on me, but I love the way white does. So a little white dress comes a long way. So with all that to said, I have talked for over 40 minutes. I know that you, I talked your ear off girl, but I really wanted to make this video because I was thinking about just fashion, how much I love it. And I thought I'd share my little secrets with you guys or the little tricks that I do to build a capsule wardrobe that I have had for many, many years. And I'm gonna continue to have 
in this world where we are full of fast fashion companies and stores not necessarily that you need to give into those trends but if you go into it thinking about what you're gonna wear in the future and what you're gonna keep on recycling besides of um besides of whatever the trend is then you are going to shop in a more conscious way and you don't need to feel that bad if you do think about it like that but it is impossible to depending on our budget it is impossible to fully to fully be conscious enough to always be buying things that are going to be good for the world and for the people that make it so i think just kind of implementing these kind of changes and thinking about in the future of the clothes that you're buying helps you a little bit more with just maintaining your wardrobe and your capsule fashion and your capsule wardrobe for the future to stick with more timeless pieces that you're going to have for a very long time and into the future than thinking about in the now and getting rid of it tomorrow again it's kind of hard to be fully 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 not shop from non-fashion because again i think that every every store is not is fast fashion sorry fast fashion because again everything changes the seasons change thing um trends and styles are going to come and go so try to stick with more of, or find your style and stick with that style and shop with that style in mind for whenever you go into these stores and tend to maybe cut back on your fast fashion the um, online stores that don't really help um the world or the people that make the garments so with all that to say let me know if you guys have anything else to add to this how do you guys shop where do you guys shop um i hope that this was informational that it was entertaining and that you guys got something out of it i know that it was very long if you're still to the if you stay to the end thank you so much i appreciate you i hope to see you all in the next video and if i am able to find any links for the newer stuff i will link it um but again try to use the clearance the sales and coupons if you can whenever you go shopping because you don't always need to pay full price all the time girl just trying to save you a couple of dollars here and there i would love to read the comments from you guys um knowing where you guys shop and how do you guys shop i am always looking to better myself and to find a better ways but i hope that you guys like my little wardrobe capsule show and the stuff that i had to say about fashion in general so i hope to see you guys all in my next video and thank you so much for watching bye